Hi everyone. Um, today's video is going to be me answering a question that one of you guys commented on one of my previous videos. So the question reads, Hey Eileen, I have a question. Let's say someone is interested in a detox and comes from a standard American diet and is relatively healthy. Healthy. Should this person transition first by starting with vegan food for a month or a week and then incorporate more fruits slowly? Or would a juice fast, for example, be good right away? And how about if a sick person with, let's say, cancer comes to you? Do you start with grape fasts, etc. right away? Because they obviously can't wait that long. I need some expert help. Greetings. Love your videos, by the way. Thank you very much for watching my videos. So, um, to answer your first question, should the person transition first, eating vegan foods for a month or a week, and then incorporating more fruits? Just a regular, healthy, healthy person that um, doesn't have any serious health issues. And my answer to that would be, since they are relatively healthy, then I would see no problem with starting them off, you know, eating vegan and then eating more raw foods. I probably wouldn't start them on 100% raw if they didn't want to. Um, I would probably say the best thing would be 50% raw for someone like that and the rest of the diet be vegan. Now, if they want to take it a step further and be a healthy vegan, I would definitely say for them to avoid foods that are high in protein so the worst um foods that have a lot of protein in them are beans and yes i know some people say well beans are very nutritious and uh, they have a lot of fiber and that may be true but just because a food is very nutrient dense doesn't mean that it's suitable for our species so um the fact of the matter is is that most diseases in this day and age are caused by having too much protein in the body and beans are just one of those foods that are way too high in protein same thing with nut butters things like peanut butter um cashew butter heavy nut butters and even excessive amounts of seeds or seed butters i would say to stay away from if they're going to if they're going to transition to a vegan and raw vegan diet. So stay away from proteins, that would be number one. And the second one would probably be um, things that are processed and refined. So I know there's like a lot of really yummy vegan junk foods out there, but the fact of the matter is, is that they're really high in oils and um, they, they look nothing like the original ingredients looked like in the first place. So, um, like, for example, vegan chicken nuggets. Like, I would probably maybe save those types of things for special occasions or maybe as a cheat on the weekends. But definitely don't base your entire vegan diet off of uh, processed vegan junk foods. Stick to more of things like salads, um, healthy starches like sweet potatoes, vegetables, plenty of fruits and smoothies and juices. Um, you can, if they want to do grains while transitioning, they can do things like quinoa or sometimes even brown rice perhaps. Um, and yeah, that's how I would transition a healthy person on a vegan diet. And you know, it's really up to the person and what their goals are because I myself came from a pescatarian diet and I would eat out at restaurants all the time so I wasn't I was pretty much coming from a standard American diet except for the fact that I didn't have any red meat so yeah I quickly jumped into the raw vegan diet uh, overnight because I had a physical illness that I really wanted to correct. My entire body was in pain with fibromyalgia, so I took the initiative and I was super serious about it. So yeah, um, when it comes to healing, I'm not 100% raw now, although I do 
a lot of fasting and raw foods and uh, you know uh, cleanses and things like that so I would say I'm probably about 90% raw most of the time with an emphasis on fruit but some days I do enjoy cooked foods keep in mind this is after about a year and a half of doing exclusively raw foods and fasting and taking herbal supplements so I hope that answered your question for the first part now if a sick person were coming to me so someone with a degenerative issue or chronic issue like cancer or like AIDS or like um, you know ulcers or anything like that that requires immediate attention then I would say that that person does not have any time to mess around I would definitely put them on a grape fast grape juices probably I would say here's the thing it depends on what type of cancer it is as well because for things like bone cancer or um, you know like the very serious cancers it can be pretty tricky the person when they're detoxing might become in too much pain as they're detoxing the cancer out so you don't you want to see how their body reacts so for example if someone came to me right now with a uh, bone cancer I would put them on watermelon grapes um, apples pears green juices green juices with parsley cilantro dandelion greens things to get the kidneys to filter the kidneys are um, the main organs that will help you detox so the, the kidneys they have to be in tip-top shape in order to achieve detoxification of any illness so I would see how their body responded with these fruits and if they responded well if there was um, like not too much pain going on um, if there weren't like any swelling of, of their lymph nodes or things like that then after a few days of doing an all fruit diet or perhaps like a week or so I would try to encourage them to switch to all grapes grapes are the best when it comes to detoxifying cancers out of the body just because they move the lymphatic system the most aggressively out of all fruits and what I would do is I would do grape juices squeezing lemons or limes into the juice and limes are uh, among the top top detoxifiers as well